Sure. You still want this? Oh, one? exercise ball. I grabbed some balls. Yeah, I thought it was the heavy one, and it had too much bounce. Oh no! It was heavy. Yeah. But it had too much bounce. Yeah. And so when I slammed it, it bounced up and hit me in the face. Okay, so we're gonna call you. Um, wow. What do you call that ball? What kind of ball is that? It's a medicine ball. It's a medicine ball. Okay, so we're gonna call you a medicine ball. Okay. That'll be your nickname for the video, medicine ball. Sure. And so this happened this morning. Yes. All right. And so we're gonna put a few stitches on that for just one stitch. Oh, that's actually real good. Fine. Just make sure that it doesn't. Can you see okay with the, the camera, Gummy Jean? We've got Roxanna helping us out this morning. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. So, you said you were up to date on your tetanus, right? Mm -hmm. And you were exercising and you basically just bonked yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. You leaving, Gummy Jean? No, no, the camera's rolling. You tell them I'm sleeping. No. Oh, now you'll sleep. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is a uh, pretty good gash right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we're going to uh, numb that up with a 1% plain lidocaine, okay? We don't want to use epinephrine on the lips. And uh, we're going to put a stitch in there and put you on some antibiotics. And uh, hopefully this will heal up just fine, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions? Open the stitch me or her? You. Oh, when can I go back to working out? Oh, oh, you you can work out today if you promise not to bonk yourself. Oh, and, and, and I and promise. No medicine balls. I yeah. usually learn the first time. Now we like to um, video this part, and um, you know there are some people that make videos out there, and and they don't show this part because it's kind of distressing for some people. But the fact of the matter is, is if this happens to somebody that's watching. Um, and they have to get some lidocaine. It, it's going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. It just is. Uh, there is another way we could do this. We could put a topical on this and wait a long period of time. And then, mm. I know that stings just a little bit. Uh, but then the anesthesia is not very reliable. All right. A little bit of medicine going in. Take a deep breath and a stick. Sting the breath. Doesn't take much medicine to numb up the, the lip here. So here we go. You okay? Mm-hmm. All right, let's give that just a moment to work. Hopefully that's gonna do it. Did it hurt a lot or a little bit? A, a little or I don't know. I should oh. use some gauze. Here, let's give you a piece of gauze so that you can- It uh, tastes hard. It doesn't taste very good, does it? <laughs> Get that out of there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All oh. right. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, that lidocaine can upset your stomach a little bit, but I gave you such a small amount that might have dripped back there that uh, it's not going to cause you any problems. Okay. All right, let's get set up to put in a stitch. Yeah, needle driver, please, ma'am. So, in looking at this again, because of the location, because it's uh, kind of at the superior to posterior aspect of the lip, I believe just one stitch from the back to the front there to pull that together will allow for a uh, Plenty good, we'll say plenty good healing, okay? Okay. All right. And the other good thing is, is that since it's not at the, the absolute front part and it does not involve what we call the vermilion line, okay? That's the, that's the um, part of the lip that actually people see, right? Mm -hmm. And since it doesn't involve that, uh, this should not be noticeable in the future, okay? Great. All right. Feel a pinch or anything. But you might feel just a little one if you do. But the stitch placement is absolutely where I wanted it. So that'll be the last one of those that you have to feel, okay? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, so this is kind of more like, instead of just a laceration, I would call this kind of a maceration where it's just kind of a, like a little crush injury to the lip there. Not just a like a smooth linear cut. Let's see how we look now with a little bit of a suture improvement. If uh, you want to take it out yourself, I wouldn't object to that as long as you feel confident and comfortable that it is well healed, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay. That is all well approximated. So all the, the little jagged edges have all come together nicely with the one, one stitch. Obviously this is gonna, you know, the, the suture itself is gonna irritate you a little bit, but okay. it's only for a few days, so you're just gonna have to get through that, okay? Okay. You have any questions? Uh-uh. Okay, well you were really brave. I hope that wasn't too painful. Uh-uh, not too bad. And I think it came together just fine, so I think you're gonna do great with this. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for letting this video. Sure. Thank you.
So a few people have asked me about Meta7, is it really made in the United States? Well, dang right it is, and most supplements are not made in the USA. This was formulated by Dr. Gilmore, you know him from Texas, you've been watching his channel, you're a subscriber. Then, it was put together in Georgia, on a facility in the United States that's GMP certified, you want to look for that. Um, there's a lot of supplements out there that are coming in from China and they're trash. They're not good. They don't deliver what they promise. The percentages aren't what they say on the bottle. This is the real stuff and you're getting high quality stuff made in the USA. It's checked, certified, and tested. Everything is exactly what, it, what it's supposed to be. So again, formulated by Dr. Gilmore to give you seven quality ingredients that'll boost your metabolism, make you feel better, you won't have that drowsy feeling in the afternoon. You won't have the jitters of caffeine. And, made in the USA, vegan, non-GMO, GMP certified. It's good for you. Go ahead and order today. But yeah, it's the real stuff, folks. And the ingredients are top level.